Digiexpress.us, a leader in iPod parts and repair, providing our customers with quality parts, affordable shipping, and great customer service. Digiexpress.us. We treat your iPod like it's our iPod. Open your iPod case and disconnect the battery cable so that your iPod can lie flat as you see here. Pick up the hard drive and disconnect the cable by flipping up the black tab. Pull the hard drive off of the cable. Disconnect the headphone jack ribbon by flipping up the black tab across from where the cable is inserted. Then, pull the cable from the connector. You must remove six screws which hold the case assembly together. There are three on each side. Release the LCD connector by flipping up the black tab that runs along the metal frame. Separate the metal frame from the faceplate. There is some adhesive on the frame, so work the frame until it separates, being careful not to crack the faceplate. Wiggle the old LCD until it pulls away from the connector. Remove the plastic cover from your new LCD and insert it into place between the faceplate and the frame. The ribbon cable should go on top of the main board with two tabs fitting into the frame. Snap the frame back into the faceplate and around the LCD. Insert the LCD's cable into the main board connector and apply some pressure to ensure a good connection. Press down and lock the black tab. Insert the headphone jack cable back into its connector and lock down the tab. Insert the hard drive cable into the hard drive and lock the tab. Make sure that the cable is inserted fully and evenly. The battery connector is located below the hard drive. The white tab on the battery cable should be facing the bottom of the iPod. Carefully press it into the connector. You should feel it snug into place. Do not press too hard as it is easy to break this connector. To close the iPod, lay the iPod on a flat surface and press down firmly. Make sure that all the corners are snapped into place.